Hey guys, what is going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review for the uh, 16th Team of the Week. Uh, this released yesterday, I believe. Today is 3.30. I'm sorry I keep turning my arm here. It's because my chair's handles are starting to come off. I need an Aaron key to put, Aaron key to put it back in. But we're going to do this review. Apparently there's a lot of very good players uh, that came out for the Team of the Week uh, for 16. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with here. So, right off the bat, from just looking at the cards, thank God I sold Philippe Anderson the other day. Ooh, smart. We got center forward Hazard, ladies and gentlemen. Center forward Hazard. Right off the bat, this card's going to be really expensive because it's a center forward card. You know, you can use this card as a cam. Like, this card is... It's going to be ridiculous, right? Because if you look at the stats, 1.4 mil on the Xbox. Woo! Let's see what his regular card costs. His regular card costs 267k. Damn, man. 1.4 million. Bro, you need monies to use this card. But hey, let's go check out the stats. Yeah, so we got a card that is 93 rated with 95 acceleration, 90 sprint speed with 97 agility, 96 balance. Dudes. He's not even in the light greens. He's in the dark greens, man. This is a guy in the dribbling department, taken care of. This guy in the pace department, taken care of. So general movement with him uh, will be very, very good. He's four-star, four-star. So that's the bare minimum requirement for attackers to be really good. Uh, he has 88 finishing with 92 composure, which is amazing, right? 83 shot power, 83 long shots, so on and so forth. The card's awesome, right? The card's really, really good. You got someone who has long passing, short passing, kick accuracy. He has the curve for the passing. The volleys are fantastic. Like, the card's good, right? Uh, obviously, the things that you'll be lacking with it is the height. No jumping a characteristic whatsoever. Uh, no physical characteristics whatsoever. Stamina is part of the physical, but stamina is its own thing, as we all know. 86 stamina is a, a very good bare minimum. Uh, not bare minimum, but it's over the bare minimum requirements for stamina to be good for uh, midfielders to be used, or even attackers, right? So the card looks awesome. If I were to use it myself, uh, probably give him a hunter to make him even faster. Because the thing is, right, is that Hazard already has the composure, he has the agility, he has the balance, he has the passing stats, right? To increase his shooting as much as possible would definitely be an ideal situation, as well as increasing his pace as much as possible. Because this pace being increased, you wouldn't have to do that, though, would you? Huh. What's the stats? Okay, so your pace is already good. You could give... What's the card that gives him... Uh, there's passing, shooting, and dribbling. I forgot which one that was again. It's not engine. Maestro? Probably Maestro, yeah. Maestro would be a really good card. Uh, I mean, yeah, Maestro would be good. I would give him a Maestro. Maestro would actually be really sick on the card as a cam. Give him that the passing boosts. Passing boost, shooting boost, 88 finishing is already pretty good. Obviously, having it to be bigger is really nice, but, you know, increasing the shot power and stuff is very important. Um, yeah, the card looks pretty awesome, man. This is this is a cool card. It's a center forward, so it's obviously going to cost a lot because you can play him as a center mid in terms of a pre-game tactic. You don't want to play him actually as a center mid without any physical or defensive stats. Uh, but you could start him off as a center mid, link him up with some Chelsea players, some Belgian players, Cam, Striker, um, and then go from there. It's a really good, it's a good card. Next card we have here is Roberto Fermino. I use uh, Roberto Fermino's uh, 86 card. So in comparison to an, his 86 card, uh, they barely touched it. Foot miss card. Okay, so the foot miss card is still the higher one, which is good. Um, yeah, they didn't really touch the card too much. A bunch of plus ones, plus twos. No touches on the, no touching on the defending, no touching. Uh, yeah, it's ones and twos. It's not like a huge significant deal. If The thing, the thing about these cards, right? I wouldn't necessarily pay for them. But if you get them as a foot champs reward, can't go wrong with that, man. This is a card that's very usable and it's very meta, right? Yeah, he has physical presence, 75 strength, 74 aggression, while being 5 foot 11 is awesome. High, high work rates as a cam is really nice too. Uh... De Bruyne is, is another very good camp to use in FIFA. 
if you are using an actual central camp because of the work rates. The work rates are very important, right? He has 88 composure, good dribbling stats in general. They did increase his agility and balance. They did not increase his agility and balance. Just forget that I even just said that. <laughs> his dribbling stats are barely touched. You won't notice a difference with anything, to be honest. Maybe the finishing a tad bit, but the card's very much the same. They didn't really change too much. But if you do end up getting the card as a foot champs card, it would be really sick. And me being a Liverpool fan, I'll, it would be cool, you know? It'd definitely be cool. I haven't played foot champs in God knows how long, but, you know. <laughs> uh, next card we have here, Ilicic. You know, it's... Fun. Oh, a Gomez cam card. Damn, this is a good... Oh, my God. This is a fantastic team of the week. Holy crap. <gasps> Rashford striker card. Yo, this is an insane new team of the week. What am I looking at right now? Okay, Ilicic. Let's look at Ilicic's card. This is... You know why I look at this card? I look at this card because this is the long shot merchant, okay? You know, and long shots were pretty effective back in the day. This guy takes some long shots, bro. Look, 92 shot power, 92 long shot. Not really that, it's not really like crazy effective nowadays. It's more about finesse shots nowadays, but I always, I, every time I see Ilicic, I just remember his his card stats for uh, for long shots with that one team of the year. Uh, next card we have here is Gomez. So Gomez, obviously a very good card as well to get. Uh, 78 finishing, 85 composure. So that composure raises up that finishing quite, quite nicely. Uh, probably gonna give him a hunter, possibly. Yeah, I'd give him a hunter. Uh, passing stats are pretty good. Pay, increasing the pace would definitely be really helpful for sure. His dribbling is already fantastic. He has 85 composure. He's really short, by the way. right. He's five foot five. So him having uh 94 agility, 96 balance. Well, you know, center of gravity will be moving all over the place, right? Uh, 99 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, uh, no physical attributes whatsoever with the height. You know, you're not, you're not going to have that aspect of a video or um, aspect of a card at all, right? But he does have pretty decent uh, passing stats to be used as a cam. He's one of the better cams in the Serie A because they don't really have that many good ones. They have like a few. So it is a good card to get regardless because he is four star, four star. You increase that finishing as much as possible, a shot power, so on and so forth. Uh, this will be... A really really good card but you'll always notice that height right but high medium work rates pretty decent it's a pretty decent it's a decent card 76 stamina is low though they should have given him an 82 I always i always i always give that as a bare minimum but it's a usable card so again if you get that card for foot champs pretty solid there too malinkovic savage is another one people would would want me to review because um center midwise he's the type of player that's like kind of similar to pogba in a way um because he's four star, four star weak foots, you know, same thing as Pogba, except for the five star skill moves, I think. Uh, acceleration 68 in comparison to his regular card. Uh, they didn't touch it too much. It's weird because they didn't touch it too much, but I still think it's a type of inform card that's worth getting at 108k, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. But 68 acceleration, 71 sprint speed, 67 agility, 60 balance is going to be very noticeable, obviously. But other than those four huge frailty, frailties in the card, it's a solid card, man. He has good defending stats for being a midfielder. Like, if you're going to be using him as a center mid, that's probably the most ideal position. You can use him um, as a CDM. But again, you have to be very careful with the high attacking work rates, medium defensive work rates. He has 86 stamina, so the, the requirements have been met for stamina. Strength is very awesome to have. Jumping is awesome to have. 80, 80 interceptions while being 6 foot 3 is great. Uh, 82 finishing, 85 shot power, 82 long shots. He has good shooting stats for being someone that's going to be playing in the midfield, right? Four-star weak foot as well, so you can shoot from multiple different areas. 84 composure, so definitely helps with the shooting stats as well. Uh, heading accuracy and jumping is obviously very nice too. Six foot three height, right? It, the general movement is the thing you have to increase the most on his card, in my opinion. If you do, if you use him as a CDM, I'd highly recommend to give him shout out to increase that acceleration sprint speed as much as possible. Try that out in game. See if the agility and balance uh, annoys you. Because again, this is another card that's very good. And I think for 108k, to be honest, it's worth trying out, in my opinion. Uh, especially if you get him as a foot champs card, it would also be very it would it would also be worth trying out um, as well in that regard. Um, next card we have here is Philippe Anderson. So Philippe Anderson. I had his 86 card, and thank God I sold it because his 86 card sold for like 250k or something. So thank goodness for that. I uh, would have lost a lot of money on that one. 97 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 92 agility, uh, 91 balance. So general movement with him will be awesome, except 
for the reactions. You do notice this, this stat, by the way. People make fun of Nepenthes because he always talks about the reactions. Oh, he's unusable now. But reactions is a very, very huge stat. It's the quickness of doing certain things, right? So, um, yeah, you know, it's it, it's a pretty, pretty uh, important stat there. But 84 composure, 81 finishing, obviously a huge, huge difference between his 82 right and his 87 if we look at the 86 uh there's a small difference there that in the ones and twos uh in terms of significant stat differences uh holy crap i would have lost so much money on Philippe anderson if i didn't sell him uh 96 shot power 96 long shots 92 agility 91 balance it's a good card again right he has the finishing the, the shot power the long shots is really nice that's a huge uh upgrade on the card right is when you increase that shot power um and finishing because that with good composure and 84 composure is really nice too. He's also high, high in work rate. So high, high in work rates is awesome too. Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna say something right now. I would highly recommend you guys to not really use that many players off chemistry. Okay? Unless you're talking about like the Neymars and stuff. Okay? Because I played with Philippe Anderson's card as a center mid on seven chemistry. But because he has a left mid, left mid at center mid is a seven chemistry. But I play him as a striker in game. The team did not move well at all. Seven chem Alexandro was not an ideal situation either. I didn't like it. Didn't work out well. But high, high work rates on the left side. I feel like this is a really good card to use in the left mid position um, if you are going to choose to use him. But I don't re recommend changing his position in game. You could try him out as a cam, but I feel like their attacking positioning gets affected when they're off chemistry and when they're like not in an original position that they normally play, uh, in my opinion. So uh, be very careful with that as well. A lot of really good cards to review here. Comes, Belgian player, all-round good card, to be fair. Ricardo Pereira would be a really sick card to get. If I, listen, man, if I really liked the game playing this game and they had an online tournament game mode as the casual game mode and I played foot champs consistently, this is a red card in foot champs. If I were to get this card... I would be tenfold happy because he's Portuguese, man. I would love to have this guy as a foot champs card in my team. I would love to be able to choose him because that's for the regular concept of, of casual FIFA. But in general, though, I wouldn't get this card, right? Because defensive stats aren't crazy. He, does, he doesn't have heading accuracy, but that's not like crazy important. And jumping is more important. He doesn't have crazy good physical strength, but... Is it a usable card? Absolutely, man. High, high work rates. He has the pace. He has the composure and general dribbling to transition left and right smoothly. Uh, he has good passing stats as well. So it's an awesome card, right? But I would never choose this card over Kyle Walker or even Antonio Valencia, to be honest, right? But the card looks awesome. I would love to get this card uh, more in, in regards to gameplay content orient wise. But he also has that four star weak footer, which is very, very helpful. Um, for fullbacks as well. Skriniar is a big, big in form as well. Um, not a lot of improvements, I don't think. Ones and twos, they barely touched it, but obviously Skriniar is a good center back to get. 63k for a Serie A center back that has poor agility and balance, but has good acceleration and sprint speed, and he's pretty stockish in game. Not like Virgil van Dijk stockish, but decent st uh, physical stature in game. Worth trying out. Would I use him in general though? I don't think so. Would I get him if would I use him in a team if I got him as a foot champs card? Yeah, I would because you know medium high work rates as a center back is usually the more ideal work rate for me personally. I like that work rate a lot, um, and I think it's I think the card is pretty good defensive stat wise, physical stat wise, right? So it's not a card I would buy, but it's a card that would be cool to use. Uh, Luca Digne, Digne. I see commentaries in the English Premier League when I watch Everton games. They call him Digne, Din. Luca Dean, they call him Luca Dean. So maybe his name is Luca Dean. Um, honestly, not a bad card to try out. 5'10 height, high attacking work rates, medium defensive. Again, to be honest, more of a card I would use for fun than meta. Uh, it just sucks to say these things. Like, I, I don't trust me. I, I know people don't like when I say it, but trust me when I tell you, I myself don't like when I say this. But, like, these just aren't the ideal types of cards to use for division rivals, right? But if they have an online tournament mode, I'll show you guys a tweet that I sent to, to Zaro and Corey in regards to what I think they should do in terms of the casual game mode. Is this, man, this right here, this format, yeah? Three qualifying games, rounds, 
being able to use different teams, this should be the best casual game mode, right? It would be the best one because you already have your division rivals. That's where your divisions is at. Then you have your casual game mode in this and then you have your foot champs, right? I think it would be a really good balance of gameplay content there because I would love to create content on the channel and do stuff like do stuff like uh like an fc porto like tournament run or something like that just have fun with it right because you <laughs> good luck using an fc porto team and division rivals when you're in the higher divisions right so uh but yeah unfortunately i wouldn't use this card myself but it would be really cool to do it uh donnarumma very good card as well donnarumma's rare gold card was one of the cheap player options to get when you first start off your team not necessarily an ideal situation nowadays but with the inform improvements very very big improvements on the card right in terms of positioning speed reflexes so this card will be very very nice they also increase his handling by quite a bit too so this will be a very sick card to use ac milan italian links um definitely worth looking into as well and let's see here so goalkeeper bali bali center back i'd, I'd get bali because just because of the wolves i i like just because of wolves like to be honest under um Sinclair. Sinclair has like a generic card, I think. Three star, three star. I, a fun card, again, to use if you're going to make like a fun English team, but they don't have a casual mode, so it's not that great. Uh, Walker Peters, not, not an ideal card either. And then, yeah, just looking at everything else before Rashford here. And then there's Marcus Rashford. Striker card. Left wing card, striker card. 76 composure still so you jumped from an 81 to an 84 and you still give this kid 76 composure why would you not give him 80 why not it's not hurting anybody if you give him 80 it's really not hurting anybody but hey 90 acceleration 94 sprint speed 90 agility okay so the agility will make up for the balance in my opinion it'll still be kind of sluggish because 78 balance with six foot one height you're gonna notice it a little bit you know Short passing is good. Finishing has been improved, right? Plus three is, is pretty nice, but by a plus three rating, you know what I mean? Uh, six foot one height, obviously awesome to have, but doesn't have jumping or heading accuracy, but six foot one is nice for general ball reach, right? Um, man, this would be a really cool card if you had composure. 76 composure is just, it's just low, you know? It's just low, man. Especially since finishing is not like I, I my thing with composure right now is because of really bad 1v1 finishing. But I want to see what it's like if they add another gameplay patch. If they add another gameplay patch and they increase his and they, and they increase 1v1 finishing and 76 composure isn't a big deal, then the card is nice. But right now, 76 composure in this current gameplay is terrible, man. It's really big. Dude, I'll, I'll use someone like like let me let me show you guys examples it's either Mane or i think it's Mane or philippe anderson let me see which one it is 80 composure this feels like shit you know what i mean like 80 composure feels terrible so i can only imagine what a 76 feels i love Mane's card general movement on and off the ball fantastic when it gets into shooting positions though oh my god man he has a little speck of a defender going on him a little speck gets off balance man or it takes a terrible shot it doesn't take a good shot at all you know it's not an ideal situation but regardless guys it's a really good team of the week if you guys played foot champs uh and stressed yourself through it you're probably gonna have a good chance of getting something good hopefully you guys got minimum gold one and higher if you didn't don't worry about it because you'll still probably get something good you guys know these gold three rewards are really sick um but guys to be honest man this is an insane team of the week very very good players very good prep player selections can't go wrong there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I will see you guys for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And um, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Am I going to do anything else today? I uh, can't think of anything. So if you guys if you guys have any ideas of what you guys would like to see, uh, be sure to let me know. And then I'll be sure to, um, I'll be sure to make those videos. All right. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.